now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Tonight. Yes, folks, it's another week and it's another interesting time to be spent with Lori Thompson. And it must be next week because she's not wearing the same clothes she wore last week. <laughs> yes, it's a brand new foray. It's what, an adventure. What, what did you do? You just put on a jacket, right? I put on a jacket, yeah, because, you know, it's cold here in Florida today, much to my chagrin. What's cold in but, Florida? A uh, cold in Florida for me. Yeah. If anything hovering sixty two or below. Oh, sixty two or below. Okay. Is it sixty two yeah. or below? Because here it's um, sixty eight. I just well, looked, I just looked at my watch. Well, that's not fair. I mean, that is. I have. In fact, I kind of have this competition I run on the weather um, between my hometown and Florida. Mm-hmm. And if they're ever warmer than we are. Yeah. I mean, except when it gets absurd, like, you know, 102. Um, I get a little uh, miffed. You know, it's like, wait a minute. I was sold a bill of goods. And yeah. uh, just, you know, you can't be, I can't be that way. That's what I find that most of my, uh, much of my energy, my emotional energy is fighting attitudes that may have served me at one time, but they just don't serve me now. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, now, you told me the, the, earlier on before we went on, that you, Lori Thompson, is working at a radio station again? Yes, I did. Um, I was. I love radio. I love the smell of radio. How do, how do you find these jobs? I can't find those jobs. In Florida, I just walked in to this one, and I gave. They wanted to build uh, their news program around the news stuff that I sent them, and I said, "Well, we." we travel so much and I just kind of gave them, I showed them a, an itinerary of we were going to be gone. And it's so often, um, that I just, um, I didn't fair, would think it would be fair to them. And plus yeah. I didn't know if I was yeah. up at three in the morning anymore. And so I went with a weekend thing, which is surely fun. It's just for fun. And so it's classic rock. Which and is and you, if you're going on vacation, you just go, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I said, because I've been up front with them. Yeah. I think that's you know that's the key to so many things, so many endeavors in life that we. Well, yeah, you got to be upfront about something like that. You oh know. yeah, all the you way. You can't say, "Well, I'm I'm going to do my shift this week, but we're going to Greece next week." You know, because I've already told them that. Yeah, yeah. but you've already yeah. told them that, and they put you on. You know, what, yeah, what the hell? They get an old full time profession. Now, let me ask you a question here. Okay. Yeah. You're in Florida. What town is this radio station in? It's Fort Walton Beach area. Oh, so, uh, okay. And yeah. what's it, what's the station's name in case people want to go online and listen to it? K-Rock. What? K-Rock. It's K-Rock, 100.3. Classic rock station. Yeah, but it, really? 100.3? Uh, uh, well, look, I don't know what they would look up, how they would look it up. They can look up Omni Broadcasting. Um, um, and om, it, Omni Broadcasting? Or, yeah, and then K Rock 100.3. That can get them and they can listen yeah, live. But that's not the like. actual, that's not the actual uh, letter sign call. No. Because it would be it, a it, W where you are. Right. And you know, I can't, I never can remember what it is because we don't say it on the air. Yeah, they don't say so, it on the air. Do they, do you, have, we don't have to do it anymore, do you? Where, you, uh, like, every hour you have to say the call letters? That's usually a piece of imaging. You have to say the call letters that you were given, the FCC call letters, and then your town. Okay. Yeah. That, All right. That's still All right. Still dirt. have to still have to do that. Okay. We yeah. We haven't gone that far that we can't do that anymore. So, I know. So anyway, so you you do. Uh, so anyway, uh, so I'm uh, here's the question I'm going to ask you. You don't have to answer it if you don't want to. Okay. How much are you getting paid for that? Uh, n- nil, really. What? Nil. But Next what, to nothing. What do you mean nil? What's nil? Next to uh, next to nothing. Next to nothing. What, I mean, I get. Wait a minute. Are so, you doing it for free? Is what I'm asking. 
I'm doing it for fun. Yeah. Well, I wait, wouldn't but say wait, exactly. wait, but I, do they no. give you a check? Do they give you a check? They made me an offer that if I have that to sell, so it's to get my name on the air and then I can sell it. I don't like doing sales though. What do you, just, oh, you're selling the time. And, and it would be 20% commission if I wanted to go that way. Oh boy. So you're so, working for nothing. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, pretty, pretty much, much, pretty much. You're not, you don't get a check from them is what you're I saying. I don't, unless I, unless, unless, unless you sell the out. time. Yeah. And then that's how a lot of So anybody can walk in the door, get a show, and then try and sell the time? No, you have to no, you have to have some jobs. I mean, because they wouldn't give it to anybody, but I have I mean, the but the gall of that. Just the gall of that, of not paying people for what they're doing. I'll and tell you what happened you. to me. What happened to me, and it happened twice. Uh I work W O R New York here in New York, yeah. is a legacy yeah. station. To begin with, it's got three letters. as a call letter. It's a call sign. And that's really old, okay? Yeah. Because they went to say. four and never went back to three, okay? Yeah. So any station that's got three letters, it's a legacy radio station. Eventually, eventually it'll be K anti disaster So I went yeah. there and I did a, uh, I did a, uh, a shift for them on a, uh, I don't know, it was a weekday or something like that replacing somebody so they could hear how I was doing and how I sounded yeah. and everything. And yeah. That's fine with me. I, you know, I just feel at this age, I didn't need to audition anymore. I mean, I'm, I am what I am. Right. I said, Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> and uh, so I, I didn't know what to do. And um, uh, so anyway, I went and I did it. Okay, I did the show. Uh, I am Union. Yeah, okay. after. The station is I believe after it, yeah. I'm not mistaken. And I go in, I do the show, and that's it. Never get a check, never, oh, really? never. It, you know, for that shift, probably, I used to do a shift at WOR, replacement replacement shift, and I used to get yeah. $300 <laughs> a shift. Yeah, well I knew that they probably, that's an odd, see, but that's the change in radio. Yeah, but wait a minute, so I never got a check. So a couple of, uh, years later, uh, when I left Live 105, that week, that that New Year's Eve, they hired, they brought me in to do the New Year's Eve show or the show, that because somebody was taking the night off because it was New Year's Eve, right? Yeah. And I even had my old producer there. He was uh, uh, producing the show, and I did it. And after I did it, do you think anybody ever sent me a check or asked me where to send the check or give, give us your number of your after or anything like nothing? Never nothing. got it's paid. It's because they, they view it as a vanity thing, I think, and it's partly vanity. No, it's but it isn't vanity when you're an after station and you got to pay after fees after to after no. performers. If you claim, if you took that to Astra, they would enforce now, it. People say to me, "Why didn't you complain to them?" And the reason I didn't complain to them is because of what I'm doing right now. Because it gave me the right to bitch. Yeah. Okay, it gave me the right to bitch. I mean, here, a here's a radio station labor. owned by iHeartRadio in a major city, and they don't ask me where to send the check. See, iHeart has ironed all of the money out for people on the air. I, they just ironed it out. Yeah, somehow, Flatten. somehow. You know, I mean, I mean there I, are certain people they do pay a lot of money to uh, because yeah, they're, they're, they're big people. performers. And uh, uh, but you know, uh, I, I, I could, but I just never understood it. You know, it never it made any sense to me because as a professional, I go to a radio station, I do a shift, I come, you know, a couple of weeks later, there's a check in the mail. Yeah, you know? yeah, uh, and in your Sizable checks. Yeah, I mean, in my and, and and they would always ask me, "Are you after? Show me your card, you know, and all of that before we do yeah. the, the shift." And you so, sign something. So that's you know. that's the change in radio. They just feel nobody works for money anymore. Yeah, that's that's true. Unless you so, get a voice track gig, yeah. which is another thing, another option. I well, well you for another market. Yeah, you're, See? you're doing it for for grins, basically. For, for grins and access to. I like. I just like to play on the radio, and I do have access to well, other equipment. They're really good about that. Well, there's a so, nice. It's a good, a good place to just walk in and and do a show and have all. You know, I like going into a studio. I don't I like. Just, I don't like sitting at home doing a show. 
I you know, just, I, I, well, I'm here in my underpants right now. You know, I <laughs> really am seriously. Uh, well, you know, I mean, I don't need to get dressed up. I can, you know, I can be, I can be naked below the waist for all I want. You know, nobody's going to yeah. see it, and it's just too easy. And so, if I'm doing a radio show from here and I'm sending the signal to the radio station, which we could do, we could set up. You know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, it just wouldn't feel the same to me as walking into a studio. Like a couple of weeks ago, they asked me to go in and do a shift. For a guy who was going on, off for the night at a station which, oddly enough, is a Christian radio station. Oh, my gosh. We, we could have some debate. And it's a right-wing Christian radio station. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That would be fun. And, and I, uh, I told them beforehand, I said, you know, I'm, I'm Jewish, and I, uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a flaming liberal. And they said, eh, we don't care. It'd be nice for the night. You know, yeah. So and I see, went the, in there, and all around me are these things like God, Christ saves. You know, Christ things like the that. answer. Yeah, Christ is the answer. And then there's some political things. You know, to the right, and um, uh, this station has a as their morning man Joe Piscopo. Really? Yes. He he, and he's on a he's on a Christian. Station. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, and he might well be and claim to be. Um, well, and, well, and he, well, he is He is Christian. I mean, he's a, a, a Episcopal, probably Catholic. I would yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, I would think. And the thing is, here's the here's what being raised the way I was raised, innocently got in Bible quiz. Here's the advantage I have is that I memorized huge chunks of the New Testament. And so when something's being misquoted, I can all... I'm not, can, you, I'm not can you for a moment recite me some of that? Yeah. Um, let's see. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. In Him was life, and that life was the light of man. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended in God. You can do this with the whole Bible? I can do it with a lot of the New Testament. That's the beginning That's of John. New, New Testament, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, th- then on, I make notes about like uh, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, which I don't think falls in the news. Well, he was a bullfrog, wasn't he? He was a good friend. He, of was, he, he yeah. was a friend of yours. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he says, for I know the plans I have for you to prosper you and not to harm you, but to give you hope and a future. And that one is uh, My encouraging. God, I didn't know that about you. We could have done that on our show in the morning and then written it off as a religious broadcast. You know. Right. We, yeah, we could have got that portion tax free. I would, I should, every morning, you should have said, "Here's Mar, here's uh, Lori with the Bible," and then you would just. I didn't yes, like, know that. Yeah, yeah. Was it? And it's something that I uh, Bible quiz. It's all memorization, and you would compete against other teams from different states and regions. And Axel Rose, of all people, did Bible quiz in Indiana. He and I are roughly the same age. And so there's a very good chance that I quizzed against him. Wow. And yeah, but he wow. wasn't actual then. Yeah, it is it is a great program. I mean, it yeah, but saved I just, me. It's just, it's just amazing. The things we remember from when we were younger, and we can't remember oh. we can't remember something from yesterday or a name of somebody we, we should know the name of, but we go back to those early days and we can we can do, we can say things, you know. Because you and I did radio before Google. There was no way to settle an argument except remembering it and backing it up. Well, yes, it, that, that's one part of it. Uh, yeah. There's, I mean, you just had to know stuff back then. To me, there's and, more to it than that, though, you know. How so? Well, I mean, I, don't, I, I, I think that uh, uh, Google, you know what Google's great for today? I had to find out percent. <laughs> I couldn't remember how to do percentages anymore. And, the uh, calculator function uh, on your iPhone. You yeah. Give that away. Yeah. Oh, she went to FedEx to send it. Oh. Ah. Marjorie went to FedEx. Thank you, Marjorie. <laughs> That's what spouses do. Like, I'm the post office person. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, where were we? You were talking about um, the things we remember from childhood. Yeah. I mean, they're just little things like statements. Uh, 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 little rhymes or whatever that we remember, but the fact that I'm impressed that you remember whole whole tracks from the Bible. 
God. Yeah, it was a very meaningful because part to of my begin Bible. with, to begin with, the Bible is written in in a very in its own language almost. You know, most yeah, I don't like the new uh, the the new versions. I like like the new international version. Don't like well, that. See, we just James. Yeah, you see, I'm Jewish, and we mm-hmm. stop at the Old Testament. We don't go to the New Testament. And right. you know, the, the difference between the two, between uh, the Old Testament and the New Testament, is the Old Testament are fables. Yeah, right. I would agree. And the New Testament is history. Mm. Oh, that's an interesting thought. Here's a revolutionary thought. What if this rapture of, that's made so much of in uh, Pentecost, what I was raised in, yeah. this rapture where, you know, it's going to be, okay, all you good people, come on what, up. What, you're going to go floating up to the he- heavens, right? No. What if it's already taken place and we're the dregs? Like it took oh, place I centuries see, ago. See. They got, they they got rid of all the, uh, they got to, took all the good people and left the yeah. riffraff behind. It's a possibility, you know, it's it's. Oh yeah, possible. oh yeah, yeah. I really believe that. Anyway, so uh, being <laughs> Jewish, being Jewish, we stop at the end of the uh, Old Testament. You know, yeah. we that's it because we don't go to that history of Christ and John the Baptist and all that stuff, right? Uh, yeah. We stop there, and we uh, all the stuff we we have in the Old Testament are fables, and I. I believe that the Bible as we have it as the Old Testament was written by people telling fables at campfires, you know, yeah, I, down I through history, say- and finally somebody just decided to codify it yeah. and put it into print. But they're all fables, and they all have a lesson to be learned from them. Yeah. You know, so they're fables. And um, uh, I like that. You know, I think if you take it as just fables, not as something real uh it's cool it's just cool see i have a, a similar approach to the new testament as does my my father did mm-hmm. he's passed away but it's metaphor it's yeah. metaphor it's not so many people are so literal and i think they miss wonderful spiritual truths by reading the new testament mm-hmm. as literal when instead of absorbing the wonderful right. metaphors and it's but, but that's so my- so when, when you go to church when you went to church and when you went to Sunday school or whatever. They didn't teach you the Old Testament, did they? No, they did. Oh, they, they did. did. They did. Yeah, because okay. it had some great fables. It had, yeah, we had a huge color plated um, Bible story. And it also, gave, it also gave a simple um, um, example of how the world was created, how the world is, you know. I mean, we know there wasn't an Adam and Eve, but it's a simple way of telling the story to a person around a campfire. Right, it's the Bible is metaphoric. Like we still go to church, but man, we have a great minister, female, African American, so go, passionate. You still go? How often? We go every two weeks. It she only has services every two weeks, but this woman is so passionate yeah, but, but about it, the it, It's amazing. I didn't know you were still going. Were you still going to church when I knew you in San Francisco? I, Occasionally, I would occasionally go to church. Yeah, there were a couple assemblies. Of this God. is really, I didn't know, but this is really ground into you, isn't it? It's, but it's morphed. No, it's I mean, morphed. You, it's morphed. You've adapted it to your life, but you haven't yeah. given up on it. Oh, no, no, no. My spouse, in fact, I, for the first time, I think I have a spouse or a spouse. For the first time, you have a spouse, period. A, period. Yeah. A significant other who's also interested in spiritual things. And that's why um, it's such a pleasure to, you know, be in a relationship where you can talk freely about spiritual things and not feel that you're going to be dubbed, a, you know, a simple mind. Or so a, he he he's quite religious himself. Well, we we I don't I wouldn't just I don't know if religious is the right right way to describe this, but mm-hmm. yeah, we have deep spiritual. Things. I mean, is this something that brought you together? Um, the, maybe. I, I mean, the, when you when you knew this about him, it kind of made you. It made encouraged me. Yeah, it encouraged. Because we used to go to church uh, where his friends did. It was a big congregation mm-hmm. in um, uh, Brandon, I think, Mississippi. Mm-hmm. It's near Jackson. It's one of the burbs, and Ooh. it was a huge one. Where did you at, Where did you meet him in Mississippi? In Mississippi, oh. we don't know how we ended up there. But um, he's from New York. He's from Long Island. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and right. And you know, and I was basically looking for other jobs there after the 
conservative news gig ended. Um, and I was very happy to be gone from yeah, that. I, I never, what city in Mississippi were you living in? Jackson, which Jackson, is the capital. Mississippi. Okay, which is so, the capital. And it, that's a city with so much potential and no confidence. And plus, the voters are blocked by the churches. Wow. Are blocked by that? I mean, B L O C. Mm -hmm. The churches vote as blocks. Oh, okay. And yeah, so it's it's an interesting. See, place. I think it's, it's wrong of a church to preach politics. I, you know, I think that's not what they're there for. And no, they're there and, for soothing the soul. The yeah. line isn't just crossed; it's jumped and trampled <laughs> between politics and Isn't religion. That, amazing? In Jackson. that is amazing. Yeah, I feel like like Joan Didion did Miami. Yeah, I feel like I should do one called. But Jackson. It, you know, you you didn't get married till you were how old? Uh, oh, sixty one. Sixty one. That's a long time to go without being married. Okay. It is. I kind of had. Um, I think it was partly highly. I didn't want to have fail marriages. I didn't want to have that record. So I thought, well, if I don't get married. Yeah. So you I'm met the, you met this guy and was the religion part of the thing that 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 bound you to him? I mean, the, it, it attracted me it that attracted I could discuss you. spiritual okay. things with him. So if if you met a guy who wasn't religious at all or he was an atheist, that would change the the thing you you might not get interested, right? Well, it wouldn't be a draw because uh that that to me is an all or nothing mm -hmm. um, identity and it's everything else about you is filtered through it wow. and so I don't no, I, I don't think it would be I don't know that it would rule it out forever and mm. completely and ultimately mm -hmm. um, if the person had so many other qualities going for them I would hear that I would listen to their views and if they seemed um, consistent with living a gracious life, yeah, I would, I would, I wouldn't, you know, get out of here or anything like that. Yeah, right. So anyway, the th th that's the spiritual life of Laurie Thompson. <laughs> I know. I want. I want to do. We could do one. You know, we kind of did anyway. The Hebrew and the Pentecostal. You know. Which, now wait a minute. Now get. Let's get back to the radio station. A second. You said it's a conservative radio station. No, no. This one isn't. The one I work for in Jackson. Oh, I see. Okay. I, and I felt unreasonably so, but I had taken the job because news is objective, supposedly. But yeah. I didn't find that there. Yeah. yeah. I'm not mentioning, but yeah, well, I didn't I find, find that there. I find all news to be a lie today. Uh, and we, uh, we haven't got much more time left here to discuss this, but I just find it a lie. Uh, it was so uh, distorted. I, I, I don't think a news operation should have a political bent. Okay, no, I think no, I think I. I think it should report the news, and right. I I find I find Fox abysmal, but I also find MSNBC abysmal. I find it's, any of these that take a position because they're trying to play to a certain crowd. There, it's you know format. that isn't what news is about. News is about perhaps telling them things they don't want to hear. Exactly, objectively from both sides. Well, but, but you know, the, both they, sides. That they don't want to hear. Uh, and they go, hmm, I got to think about that. You know? Mm -hmm. I, it, that's it, all I want is to present information to let people decide for themselves. Well, you, know what, Bob, you know what's been dri driving me crazy lately? I watch these guys <laughs> in Israel reporting the, the stuff that's going on over there, right? Yeah, Hamas. And they always ask questions. That it, the qu implicit in the question is the answer they want. Yeah, you know what I'm talking I, about. Yes, uh, and it's just yeah. interesting uh, because uh, okay, were were you frightened by this whole situation? Well, I wasn't frightened. No, no, but this, something like that where they are implying the answer they want to get. Oh yeah, the well, answer to that would be frightened. Yes. You know? Yeah. I mean, rather well, than saying, "How did you feel?" Yeah, exactly, Ben. See, and, and, and that drives me crazy. Because you know? we live in a, in a pro-Israeli country. Because well, my forget about Israel. I'm just using that as an example. But where yeah. the reporters ask a question that really implicit in the question is the answer they want to get. They're not giving the person much option to answer other questions. You know, you get what I'm saying. I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. Because I have a little bit of different experience. Um, in high school, one of my best friends was Palestinian and moved here from uh, Kuwait, yeah. a small yeah. town house. 
And so she was the one that first pointed out to me the way the news operated and that the news, without even going on record, had a perspective that could be revealed in the way they ask questions. Yeah, yeah. And I got to know a little bit about Palestinian history and Palestinian uh, clashes with um, Israel and, uh, and to see that the Palestinians, because I got her take on things. And so it, I had to at least admit when I looked at the headlines that there was something else going on here that wasn't being reported. We, we that, we've run out of our normal time, but as with you, it's always to hell with it. Uh, <laughs> I, I will go over here. Because I, I just, what I'm talking about basically is that when they're asking questions, they're asking questions in which they're forcing the answer out of somebody that they want to hear. It's, yeah. you know, and, and I don't like news people doing that. I think news people should be, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about that? Not like, do you feel this about that? Yeah, exactly. You just see, ask, what's your perspective? Yeah, that's it. the difference. And, yeah. and uh, I find that ab abominable when that goes Yeah, on, you know? because a question like, what's your perspective on a situation? That's yeah. why oral histories are better than biographies or memoirs, because you are asking, I mean, the individual perspectives of this world make up our global identity. And so that's why people, when they're asked, By, how by, by the way, I've come up with another theory, okay? What? Uh, and excuse me, folks, if we go over, but this is more interesting than anything. Uh, um, <laughs> And I'm, I'm going to get heat for this. Um, I uh, am. I feel that America's attitude towards Israel, okay, the political attitude towards Israel, mm -hmm. is anti-Semitic. You're right. And it's anti-Semitic because they're siding with the Jews because in their mind they're saying, you know, there are a lot of rich Jews in America and we don't want to lose them. We don't want to piss and them off. And that's anti-Semitic. Yeah, because it makes an assumption and creates a yeah, profile. And that's the reason <laughs> that their their attitudes about Israel are formed on that. I mean, Israel politically, terrible state. Uh, worse every year under Netanyahu, terrible. Okay? Yeah. It, He's trying to get away with the Supreme get do away with the Supreme Court over there, which is the governing body of the country. It is not the president, not the prime minister or whatever. It is. It, they don't have a two, you know, a Congress and a. Uh, they have a Knesset, but they do, they don't yeah. have uh, really don't have a governing body. The main governing body is the Supreme Court, and he's trying to do away with the Supreme Court. Yeah, I think that Israel yeah. has been given uh, a free pass for all those reasons. But you nobody just on the air here in America will be critical of Israel. Because they feel that all the rich Jews in America will be against them. And that's yeah. an anti Semitic attitude. Right. It's profiling. Yeah. yeah. I, but, I mean, call me crazy. Positive folks. profiling. Call me yeah, crazy, because, folks. But, yeah. but I think that uh, Tegreed, my friend, is one of the reasons I may have got into news because I just saw from an early age, we were, when we first met, we were mm -hmm. 12 years old. And I saw from an early age that the media, which I always thought was the voice of God. And uh, it isn't, it isn't. And it's, you know, the, who was it that said, the only reason for patriotism is an idea that this country is better because you were born in it. Can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, That's listen, I, we've run out of time here. Oops, I hit my mic. Uh, we, we're out of time here, but it's always, I love this. I love it's this. A I never know where we're gonna go. <laughs> we we don't have a map or a compass, but we'll get there. Ladies and gentlemen, her name is under her picture, and her name is Lori Thompson. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Ben. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that's our good friend, Lori Thompson, and uh, we always love talking to her. We'll talk to her again next week. Uh, she likes doing it, and we like having her doing it. Okay? All righty. Um, uh, there's nobody calling. Nobody. I am tired of this on Thursdays. I, I have no idea why and uh, whatever. So I don't know. If I don't get somebody here within, uh, what, three minutes, I'm going to sign off. What the hell? 
I enjoyed uh, hearing from Lori. I'm sure a lot of our audience uh, did as well. And, uh, you know, that's it. We had our president give a speech tonight. Fairly good speech. I'm, I'm, I have no real crit uh, criticism of it. I think he was even-handed, and he was talking about not only the problems in Israel, but the problems in, the, in Ukraine as well. And he also uh, said, hey, you know, the Palestinians have to be taken into consideration. I mean, he had a, a fairly nice thing to say about the average Palestinian. You know, Palestinians aren't the enemy. The enemy are, are, are always, are always either zealots or people who are, you know, five ways to the left of Tuesday. Okay? And uh, that, uh, you know... Uh, th th that's what everybody should understand, you know. A and to be pro to be pro Palestinian is not to be anti Jewish. It may be to be kind of anti Israel, but I mean Israel is a completely it, it, you have to you have to separate. Uh, well, wait a minute. Here comes somebody, so I may as well put him on. He's in his car. And we can barely even see him. Wait a minute, I'll show you what I mean here. Hold on. Well, there he is. He, he you're driving home, right? Is that what's happening? No. Yeah, driving home. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I, oh, okay. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I, I, I got to put my face back on the screen here, because it says Charlene's a uh, phone iPhone uh, entered the room. And, oh, there she is. Okay, that's her. All right. Okay. I, I'm just being extra careful lately, so that we we don't uh, we don't get people trying to get on here who shouldn't be getting on here. But anyway, I just was saying that that uh, to be, uh, be be there's nothing wrong with being pro-Palestine, you know, Palestinian. Uh, it, it it's not saying you you're anti-Semitic or anything like that. What what is your Turn your phone the other way, uh, Charlene. You're yeah there. It, it, it didn't it didn't turn the other way. Yeah. Anyway, so um, um, it, you know, I mean, people have to understand. Uh, the thing I've always it's always bothered me is the things always bothered me about this. What did you turn your phone for again? Sorry, it, sorry. It, it, I'm watching. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, uh, where, where, where was I? Uh, oh, the 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 notion, the thing always dis I disliked about Israel, and the thing that always upset me about Israel, was the fact that as a Jew, I don't want the politics of a nation to be associated with me and my religion. In other words, by people will say to me, "Oh, Abjia, uh, Israel's your homeland, right?" No, no. Not even close, okay? This is my homeland. I was raised here. I was born here. This is my country, all right? So when, they, when, when a country starts up and says, okay, this is the Jewish state, all of a sudden they're kind of speaking for me. And I don't like their politics. I think what they've done to the Palestinians over the years has been terrible. And I think the way in which Netanyahu is running that country now you wouldn't stand for it over here, you know? So I don't want to be associated with the politics of a country just simply based on my ethnic heritage. You get what I'm saying? Does that make sense to you? You guys agree or disagree with me? You know? Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, if it, it, every, everything that Israel's doing, some people are blaming on the Jews. Well, I'm sorry, you know. I, I find what's going on in Israel and in, in Gaza unconscionable on both sides. You know, I think that, uh, the, that the, the easiest thing in, the t in times like this is to give in to getting even. And I think the hardest thing to do and the thing that is the best approach is restraint. And you don't just go bombing a bunch of people who are innocent civilians because you're trying to get the bad guys who are maybe nested among them. That's not a reason to kill all those people. There, there are other ways of handling it, but that's just me. I'm sorry, but I thought the president took a very measured approach tonight and bespoke his, uh, 
his feelings well. Did you hear it uh, tonight at all, uh, Kevin? No, I didn't. I Did didn't you hear, hear it, uh, Charlene? No, I'm sorry, Alex. Boy, nobody wants to listen to our president. How about you, Brian? No? Okay, well, then forget about it. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to talk about the president's speech tonight. And actually, we don't have to. You know. Did he he talked about Ukraine also? Hmm? Did he talk about Ukraine also? Yeah, he talked about Ukraine quite quite a bit. He he aligned the two situations like I have that mm -hmm. you know the the Hamas and Putin are exactly of the same stripe. You know, they do the same thing. They kidnap kids and they rape women and they, you know, it's been all that. Uh, so he he uh, he he said that he said that they're very similar, and uh, he said that if we don't stop Putin, uh, and we don't stop Hamas, then there's going to be some terrible stuff going on, you know, as a result of that. And I thought it was I thought I thought it was a good speech all the way around. But yes, uh, Charlene. Well, you know me, Alex. The only thing I kind of saw was the nightly news on ABC. And can I ask you, they mentioned something about, you know, I could have gotten it wrong because you know me, I'm blonde. So, like, um, did they take, did our country take a shot in Israel or something like that? Or I might have that all wrong, so I, I apologize. What do you mean, did our country take a shot in Israel? Like, like we took, like the United States went over there and in Israel fired something. No. I didn't no. say that. No, because I, we, we don't have any... Anything to, for us to use we over there? We haven't touched anybody. No boots on the ground or anything like that, right? We're we, not. We don't. We have no boots anywhere in that area. We do okay. have some uh, some ships offshore, which oh, okay. we do in many circumstances like this. But that's not boots on the ground. Okay. No, I that's mean, in fact, uh, um, uh, I think one of the things, if I remember correctly, that uh, Biden said tonight was. He didn't have any intention of putting any boots on the ground in Ukraine. Oh, good, you know? good. So, okay. you know, and that he on purpose has not put boots on the ground there. But in lieu of that, we have to supply them with the necessary materials they need to kick Putin out. You know, and we have to do it for Israel as well. Then he said, and this is the part I don't get, I'm tomorrow sending a bill or a, 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 a bill or whatever to the Congress tomorrow to pass to get money for these countries, and I'm thinking, what Congress? It ain't right, it ain't open for business. What do you where are you gonna right. where are you gonna send the uh, the uh, bill? You know, uh, Alex. Hmm? You know that just talked about the thing going on with the Congress. Is that like the first time this has ever happened in history or something? You know, Josh isn't here, but, you know, he probably would be able to handle that one better. Like, I just thought maybe this has never happened before. What's going on with Congress? I think, I, I, am, am I right, Kevin? You look like you kind of agree that, yeah, they, this is about the yeah, first, time first time this has happened. Yeah. Yeah. It's precedent, like a precedent or something. Yeah. Well, forget about precedent. It's just a stupid thing. You know, these yeah. people can't get their crap together, and they should be. You know, if they are, they're they're supposed to be leading us, right? They're supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, he party. set it up for himself to happen. Obviously, he set it up for himself to happen, and then they did it. So, but it set, what up? It happened. Well, he he set it up for for him to be able to be voted out. Mm -hmm. and oh, oh yeah, they they took him up on it and did it. Right. So, right. Yeah, but now they, you know, if you're going to kick somebody out, you better have somebody you're going to put in. Exactly. You and they have, didn't have, have that plan in place. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right now, a lot of them are saying, gee, McCarthy probably should have stayed in power. You know, I'm not saying that. But, yeah, they didn't think about that. And, of course, who led that charge was Mr. Gates, who probably thought he was going to be in, in line, but <laughs> that didn't happen. Nobody, nobody wants him. No, 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 not at all. Who wants a baby raper? But you yeah. would think that uh, somebody would have walked up to him and said, who do you got in mind? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Charlene. You know, you guys, you know, Alex, everybody, you, you men, like um, 
are they doing stuff to do you think it's ever going to be you know settled and what are they going to do about this i mean this is crazy well it's going good on. it's going to get settled one way or the other it has to be right it, it can't go on like this right they it, have to do something right you know uh, yeah did they have a vote today again no uh, but uh what's his oh, they name were supposed to what's his name no, said he wants he's he wants another vote now he, he's taking another chance on, oh, yeah. he, he got yeah, two two were, less votes last time on the second yeah vote. and they were supposed to have a vote today after their little conference at 11 o'clock this morning mm -hmm. and i guess they didn't have it because i was i was out working and running around today so i didn't catch too much of what was going on yeah. but they were supposed to have a a conference last I saw about 11 o'clock my time they were having a conference and he was gonna you know talk everybody into doing it and of course obviously that didn't happen no in fact they no. they had a conference yesterday for him to talk people into it and then went to take a vote and he got two less votes than he got in the first vote right and yeah okay yeah so, so I mean it, it, it it's, it's proving, McCarthy all over again it's proving the Republicans can't get their stuff together yeah, exactly. You know, you would like to have a party in power in Congress who can get their stuff together. And there, and there's more of a push now. I'm hearing that uh, they want Patrick McHenry just to take over and and do it. Well, but that that is. I think there's yeah. the, it's the the great eight that are out there standing there going no no no, and you know yeah, and he's a he's a pretty much moderate guy. He's not. Yeah, a, and they don't want anybody moderate in there. Well, they can't get what they want because not all that, uh, not all Republicans are as um, right. Uh, I'm right not wing, say right wing as they extreme are. right wing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so those, Patrick small Ma Patrick group McHenry, is the one making all the crap. Well, Patrick McHenry is, I think, uh, I've seen him up there. He's kind of just a nice guy, you know. He's he's reasonable. He's reasonable. You know, so I mean, it's a it's a real crap show. I use that instead of the other term because the other term would get me demonetized. <laughs> but who knows? So about, um, hmm? the other the other news that I did hear earlier was uh, Sydney turned. Oh yes, that's the big story yes. today. Yeah, well, that's the big story today. If you dominoes are beginning to fall, if you exclude uh, Israel. Uh, at this point, yeah. that's the top story, I would I say. I thought that was kind of fun because I thought she was going to turn. I thought if anybody was going to turn first, it would be her. What, mean, what do you mean turn? She was going to turn coat and, and and spill the beans. Oh, okay. she, was, she was the one that was up there making the most noise mm -hmm. and had the microphone. And now that she's uh, said, okay, I'm going to squeal. Who else is going to follow now? Am I right or wrong? She's a lawyer, right? She's a lawyer. She was okay. the one that was up there saying everything. So what happens to what, what what happens to her uh, legal license or whatever if she says that? I, I don't know, but I'm sure it'll get either suspended or pulled. But her deal was like it's basically a slap on the hand for all the information she's going to give. She'll get like a, I think it was a six. Six year probation, mm -hmm. a twenty seven hundred dollar fine. Okay. <laughs> I can lend and, her. I can lend her that. Yeah, and then she gets to squeal everything, but it has to be truthful, under under oath, and okay. everything that she knows will be uh, yeah disclosed. So this means that Trump's in a lot of trouble. Exactly, and so is. But uh, you hear who's the next one? Who's the guy that's uh, going on trial Monday? Uh, Who's next one in line? Oh, oh, that—that's uh, um, not Pop Eastman, the other guy. I know who you're talking about. I forgot the other guy's name. Yeah. Oh, am I wrong? But is it the guy that was his lawyer? I can't remember his name either. But oh, not that Giuliani. guy. That, no, no. Oh, I Rachel Maddow was on the View, and she thinks that. I mean, if Trump were to ever become president, he would put. Giuliani on the Supreme Court, like she has a book out about fascism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rachel Maddow. Anyway, oh, you know, um, yeah, he's going to put Giuliani on the Supreme Court. Come I on. know that'll never happen, right? Like that's crazy, right? Yeah, I don't think it would. 
But I, I know who was that guy that was the lawyer. Listen, for him? he 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 won't. He not only wouldn't he put him on the Supreme Court, he isn't even paying his legal bills. Right, right. You know, mm-hmm. which he should do for him for all that he you know did for 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 Trump. And, well, let's uh, hope. God forbid, it looks like Trump isn't gonna probably hopefully run or something, right? Because he's in deep shit, right? Well, it who knows what's there. gonna happen. Yeah, we don't know. We can't, we just have to watch it play out. Yeah, and see what happens. How long do you think it's going to take? We have no way of knowing either, right? It's crazy. Well, I've never seen something like that. It's bizarre. Some of the some of the elements in this in this situation are going pretty fast, actually. Really? Oh, good. Yeah, no, they're going pretty fast if you think about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want it to go fast, and you know. It's t- Look at how many times. I think there are certain there are certain cases that won't go fast. I think George is going to go pretty fast. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the thing in in New York is mm. going to go that crazy. You know, it, mm. it's going to be finished very shortly, mm-hmm. and uh, you know he's going to lose all his properties here in New York City. Yeah, have any other states gotten in on the bandwagon with this or no, something? Or? No, no. Is that enough? The ones that did get together to do something, or well, no states got together except for New York, right? And, and, and Georgia's Georgia. got their own their own thing against him, and that's enough. And like, um, yeah. uh, and uh, I love the judge in the case, you know, here in New York, mm-hmm. because it's the judge I had for my uh, um, case in, uh, in that's right in, that I'm, I had that same judge, Judge Engerin. Your apartment. Yeah, I mean, here's the terrible problem. I'm having problems with the landlord. He's not mm-hmm. giving me a lease renewal based mm-hmm. upon my, um, upon my uh, what do you call it? On my original lease, which mm-hmm. you're supposed to do. You're supposed you can't renew a lease. You you can't renew some imaginary number. You have to renew on the terms and conditions of the original lease. Mm-hmm. And they refuse to do that. These guys are just not sending us, and so they're probably going to try and like evict me or whatever. And I have to go back to court. But I would like to go back to Angerin and say these people are not living up to their, you know, their, what they were told to do by you they, because they went to the uh, the uh, court of the appellate court, and then they went to the court of appeals, and they lost both of them. Which means it throws it right back to Engerin's decision, mm-hmm. and they have to abide by it. But they're not. So uh-huh. I need a judge who's going to say, if you don't start abiding by it, you're going to jail. You know, which he could do. And Engerin's the kind of judge that would say that to them, because he didn't he didn't like them that much. He thought they were real crook, crooks. Yeah. What? Just uh, broke. Alex, oh, I was going to say, Alex, you just have to kind of ride it out. You know. And see, you know, because eventually... I don't want to write it out. I want my goddamn lease, okay? What are you going to say, Kevin? I Chesbro is the next one up. Who? Ches, uh, Kenneth Chesbro was, is supposed to start his trial next week. Oh, really? Yeah, and he's the one that's going to... He he asked for a speedy trial, and he got it. Mm-hmm. Now he's starting to go, oh, maybe I should put the brakes on this one. What did... Uh, what did ch- Sydney said that she's going to release the Kraken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay. Was, she, he's she, supposed to start his trial next week. Oh, really? Wait a minute. Turn your, uh, turn your audio down there, John. He, he asked John, for a speed. T- turn that, what? Get rid of your... Uh, oh, get, well, maybe I should brakes on this one. What? Listen, what did, listen what to that. Did, we've, got your, we've got our audio on from you. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, sorry. That's right. Right. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's I got his trial next week. Oh, really? Wait a minute. Turn your... Uh, okay. There we go. Yeah. Whoa, I was getting dizzy. I was I had YouTube on. Yeah. No, no, I can't find my Zoom. Where's my Zoom? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna transfer it to my computer. Bye. Oh, okay, you're gonna transfer it to your computer. Yeah. Goodbye, Brian. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't pick up the phone. <laughs> Make sure you got Dick, your clothes on. <laughs> Big Dick Brian on the on the my name when I come back on. Bye. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Now I get all those people uh, who are trying to zoom bomb me. Or zoom bomb me as Brian. Uh, yeah, it sounds like. Uh, well, you have that notice now when you when you dial in. It's uh, it has that notice. 
I, I was just going to put it up that. there. Yeah, it is. It is again. I think that's deterring, but I won't say any more about that because it's worth. Well, no, they it, literally. It, if you zoom bomb, you can right. go to jail. Right. You know, and I think that's a good thing. You put that up there, or they put that I up there. I put it up good. there. Good. I put it up there, and good, I fully I intend mean, to press charges. Good. You know. But. Uh, and they can it, I, maybe it, maybe that's helped. I hope that it's helped. Wait a minute, here comes Tony. Let me just, you know, I'm I'm not taking any chances lately. Um, let's see here. Where's Tony? Is Tony? There he is. Is he there? There he is. Okay. It's Tony. Mm-hmm. That's Tony. Tony, Tony. Yeah. So anyway, um, hey Tony, how are you? Yeah. So. Pretty Chess good. bros Pretty up, mm-hmm. and yeah, he what? should be up for next. I thought it was Monday, but I think it's Thursday. <clears throat> that's when and he's the one that's next up for trouble. Mm-hmm. And now that she's going to spill the beans, it should uh, should have him uh, changing his shorts a little bit. Well, he was very close. Yeah, you know, he was very close. Um, yep. So the both was, of those she, two. Uh, excuse me. She was very close. Yeah, she's she's like, she was the one. That, she was a spokesperson. You always saw her up in front, you know, saying we're going to open up the yeah. machines and all that stuff. She was the one stirring up all the crap. Right. Right. And uh, I always thought when I saw her, I go, I just don't believe her <laughs> at all. Oh, we hated and, her. Oh God. We just hated her. You know. And she now she's the first one to to turn coat. I it didn't surprise me at all. Yeah. Yeah, and if if they're making some kind of a deal like that, she's got to have some good info. I mean, for all that they're gonna get from her, and they must she must have turned something loose on them. Twenty seven hundred dollars and a six year probation. That ain't nothing. Well, what, yeah, the question probably was, what are you going to tell us? Yeah, you know. And she says she's going to release the kraken. So, well, it's you know something good. here. Here, this is the fault of Donald Trump. Okay, that he can't keep his people loyal. The reason he can't keep them loyal is he's not loyal to them. He's not loyal himself, exactly. You know, exactly. And and when Rudy Giuliani is sitting, you know, out there, sitting out there to dry, yeah. and and he, he, I understand he doesn't have a penny to his name now. He's yeah, dead he's broke. Competent, is he? What? He sold the. My brother said he sold the apartment in the Manhattan. Yes, that's yeah. what he's me, Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd be surprised. I think the two people that made the biggest mistake during all of that was Giuliani, who just left let himself open to just be uh, lose every penny he's got, and the other guy is the my pillow guy. <laughs> yeah, now, here's a guy. Here, here's a guy who had a. Great business going for him, selling cheesy pillows. Okay, I had the little logo on it. Yeah, but he had the pillows. But he had a great p- business going for him, all based on his own personality, squeezing on his pillow, loving his little pillow, humping his little pillow. You know, I'll get it. He's hugging like but yeah, yeah, my pillow. <laughs> well, it was like full of money. <laughs> if he had just and not gotten into the Trump business, I don't get it. You know. But and it oh, was great he, material for Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, it was great material for <laughs> yeah. Jimmy Kimmel. Great but material. if he had just stayed out of that, the guy would still have it. He'd have a huge business today. You I know? Mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, throwing all that away. I mean, Alex, if your agent would tell you something like, listen, don't do this, Alex. It's kind of bad. You, he, you wouldn't even tell you to do something. But some of these people, are they just that stupid? But you like, know what? What are you doing? I feel sorry for none of them. I know, but I think they lack common sense. They do, oh, and that's their own oh, damn fault. Cult is what it is. It's a cult. Right. I think it's more. I think they just dumb. Like, well, they all think that if they kiss Donald Trump's ass, Donald Trump's going to watch something. out yep. for them, and he yep. never does. Nope. Yeah, so what's happening it. now is Sidney Powell probably said to herself, "Why should I protect this guy? He's not doing exactly. anything to help me." Exactly. You know, he's not saying, "Can I help you with your." Uh, with your uh, 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 legal bills, which he could do because his he has these packs and stuff, which yeah, are allowing him to use the money for anything, 
And and so he can turn some of that money over to Sidney Powell and say, here, take care of yourself. Hey, so not, Rudy, Rudy, you were really good to me. You were in there. You were fighting for me. Here, here's some here's some money. You know? I'd be really surprised to see what's going to happen when the family gets pulled into this. Whether he, you know, backs the family. Will he? Will he back his family? Hmm. That's that's an interesting thought. I think he leaves the family will out. He just let them hang. I think well, he leaves he, them out of that inner circle. It's it's not a it matter of whether he leaves them out if the legal no, system in, pulls in, them in. In the New York situation, are they involved in it? Oh yeah, they were. They were. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, and when they get pulled in, I thought everything it. was under Trump's name. No, I wasn't no, sure they're on it. trial as well. Oh, they are on trial. Okay. Yeah. Is he going to help them? Oh, he would. He, he. I think he would help the daughter. The sons might have to swim in the. The Hudson daughter. River. I don't think the daughter is involved. Yeah, in right. In the New York case, it's just uh, she the may two, have skated around it. Huh? She may have she skated. Surprise of his eye. Yeah, but I mean, yes, yes, Charlene. Can I ask, like, how did they implicate the sons? It's the sons that are going to probably get implicated somehow. Well, they're part of the business. Oh, okay. They're not they are. going to be implicated. They're on trial in okay. this in the civil case. It's not a it's not a criminal case. Mm-hmm. It's the oh, it's Eric the criminal case. Right a criminal case without a jury. And he's complaining now. How mm. dare they not give me a jury? What kind of country do we can I finish before you ask for? another Sorry. question, Charlene? <laughs> Jeez, Sorry. Mighty. Sorry. Um you know, um uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, you were saying about the trial? You were complaining about the jury? Well, oh, he's, he's complaining, he's complaining he about how he, how, he, how, he, how he has no no jury uh, uh, in this case. And that what kind of a country is this where you don't get a jury? Well, I'll tell you where it is. If your uh, lawyers don't ask for a jury, you don't get one. <laughs> and that's what he asked for. And he forgot to ask for one. And then the time passed and he couldn't get one. All right, plain and simple. So now, it's the judge who's going to make the determination, and he's already made a, uh, a what do they call it, a supplemental uh, uh, a judgment, uh, in which he said that uh, uh, you know he can't, they can't practice business in the state of New York any longer. And now we'll go to the trial and see, you know, how much money he owes for this. But the judge yeah. is already, see, because the judge is going to make the determination and is going to be the guy who's going to, you know, he's the, he's the judge, jury, and executioner, okay? Uh, because he has to do that. Um, you know, tr- Trump is being really stupid by getting him mad at him. I was just going to say, he's pissing off the big guy. <laughs> I mean, really. Well, my landlords did the same thing with him, and he nailed him, you know? So, I mean, this is a judge that just doesn't put up with this kind of crap. And happens to, I might add, happens to be a pretty decent guy, you know. After our case was over with and we had settled it and whatever, uh, we, he invited us into his chambers to sit down and just talk with him for a bit. And he was really nice, really nice, you know. Um, and But, I mean, Trump th- if Trump thinks he's getting away with anything with this judge by going after his, oh, his court clerk, too. I know her as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, he went after her. Uh, and, uh, th- you know, this judge said, look, you, you know, you, you, can, you just don't come after the people who work for me. You just don't do that. And why do you go after a court clerk? They, they're just... Well, she's, she's a lawyer. She's, the, she's really the judge's lawyer. Um, and she... Okay, yeah, in a civil case. Yeah, yeah and, and she, she's involved in the civil case, too, you know. But, I mean, uh, he just, uh, he's just stupid. He's just really stupid. I mean, do you want to win this case? you want to lose this case? He's already lost his case in New York. Already lost it. Uh, it, it because he's, uh, he's just been acting up too much. That's all, you know. So. Yeah, it's just in the penalty phase now where they're just going to determine. Yeah, it's, it, all this really is is how much he's going to have to pay. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And you can imagine. How long is it going to take Alex to to pay him? <laughs> He'll never pay. Uh, I oh, yeah. Is, the question but it'll, is, be, it'll question, be busted, though. Well, he may have to sell all his properties in New York. Yeah. I wonder what he has left. Hmm? 
I wonder what he what, has left. Well, let's see. Thing. Let's see how much he's worth when they try to get yeah, rid of. Yeah, depending on what that I want to see. I want to see how much he's actually worth on paper. Like he say, he, he's, he keeps saying, "How can you say that uh, Mar-a-Lago is only worth one hundred and thirty-three million dollars?" He says it's worth yeah. several billion. What is anything in Florida? That would be the most expensive. That would be the most expensive home in the world, practically. <laughs> At uh, at several billion dollars. Wow, Barry Manilow's a grandfather. Huh? Barry, I'm reading the news. Barry Manilow's a grandfather. I didn't know he had kids. Wait a minute. Barry, the singer. Yeah, he's a grandfather. That's what I think it is. Yeah. They must have had kids with the. I'm sorry to get. I off always had the feeling he was gay. Yeah, he is. They must have. They must have did the uh, when that lady carries it for them or something. They must have paid somebody. Oh, yes. Yes, that could be. Yeah, that, I don't know if it's a boy be. or a girl, though. Because, I mean, if he's married to some... even Yeah, some he's married guy. to his... Pro, what it was, I think, the agent, Alex. I forgot the guy's name. Oh, boy. Now she's putting up a phony arm. It's getting annoying. I, I was going to put I'm up sorry. a knife. I was going to try to be funny. That's not funny, right? And put up a knife and said I cut it off, but... I don't know. I'm sorry, Alex. I apologize for interrupting you. But I was going to say it's a surrogate, right? A surrogate? You yeah, know that's that. it, yeah. 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 That's what it's called. What happened to Brian? I thought he was coming back. He's putting the bait, you know, the girl to bed, his daughter, maybe. No. Nah. He stays up late, right? The girl goes to bed on her own. She's a big yeah. girl now. Right, yeah. right. How you doing there, John? Pretty good. Pretty good. I, um, just... You know, same old stuff, uh, working the theaters and, you know, nights, so mm -hmm. ushering. But you live in the part just, of... Just, just, turned, just turned 66. Really? God bless you. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank so, you. Yeah. So, good. But you live in an area that's really where all the stores are closing down now, right? You're... Well, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's really weird. Seems like the only things that stay in business are uh, pot stores and, <laughs> and really? dild dildo stores. <laughs> and dildo stores, but they're, they're no more porn stores, are there? They're no more. Well, porn they have what's called a good vibrations, which is just you know for vibrators. And yeah, stuff. yeah, but I mean, uh, there's no place where you can go and see a peep show anymore, or not or, live, or there's buy a like, porn like, film. No, yeah, there are. Yeah, there, there are, are. really. Not many, not too many. I mean, I just don't even see how how the porn business stays in business since who pays for porn? Yeah, the Mitchell Brothers has been closed up for years. Yeah, the building's still there, but it's pretty much just derelict, been empty for years. So that nobody nobody's taken it over or used it for anything. What did didn't his um, daughter inherit the business or something, or one of their daughters? The Mitchell brothers, well, somebody that was the saddest story of all time. Yeah, those the, the, these two brothers built this kind of porn empire called the Mitchell brothers yeah. with the Mitchell brothers theater. And one day, this is highly biblical. Oh, wow. One brother kills the other. Oh my god! Yeah, and he and did, the, hmm? the son, his their son killed the the, the his sister too. What? Like, Crazy. Yeah, it's, they had a, a son. Well, one of them had a son and a daughter, mm -hmm. and the son killed the daughter, I think, because mm -hmm. he was on drugs or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember what the story was, but yeah, something like that. I don't remember that part of the story. Yeah, it happened quite a what quite a what few years well, after. Well, and it was strange because if you go back and you you know, I say the story is biblical. In, in, it, in its in its uh, like Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, in its it. But what happened was, is that he the what, which one died? Artie died, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. What was what it, was the other one's name? Jim. Jim. Jim yeah. 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 And what happened was Artie was like a real drug user and was just completely out to lunch and just completely gone and would do all kinds of things which were just horrible just you know just annoying and whatever and it's like 
Jim killed him partially out of love for him. If you get, you know what I mean? Well, he put him out of his misery, like he knew him. to put him out of his misery. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So like a suicide almost. Yeah. And how much time yeah. did Jim get in in prison? Not a long time. I think he, his defense was self-defense, though. Oh, uh, I think. really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Tony. I don't want you to get mad, but I got a message from Phil, your former uh, caller in. He wants me to tell uh, John that check your message box, John. You owe him on a bed. I don't know what on a trunk. Oh, me? Yeah. Me? You yeah. know, no. it, it, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm not going to have you do... Phil's work. If Phil wants to talk to John about this, he can call. He can call up the program. Okay. <laughs> nobody, no, 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 nobody has told him he couldn't call the program. I told him to call the show. What kind I of told, blood did I, I, I lose? Huh? I I told him he couldn't call anymore. What you guys you, had you a falling told, out? You told him he couldn't call anymore. That no, we kidding. didn't have a falling out. He had a falling out with my wife. Ooh. Oh wow. <laughs> my wife said something about him on one of our little things out in the park, and he took offense to it and said, I'm never calling again. Jeez. Well, you know. Why if I recall, that? the bet was either Trump goes to jail or Trump goes to president, becomes president. I said he goes to jail before he becomes president. And he said he's going to be, he'll be president before he goes to jail. Well, and neither of you are right or wrong okay, yet. That's what, right, still exactly. Yeah, so the bed's it. still alive. Yeah. 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 Technically, yeah. <laughs> How much was the bet for? I don't know. A dollar. Or, was it 20 bucks or something? Was it a pinky swear bet or something like that? I think it was $20. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I don't know. Do you really need it that much, Phil? <laughs> you know, but anyway, um, but it, it it was a very sad story that happened yeah. with uh, yeah. with the Mitchell brothers, um, and and both of them are dead now. He Jim died, right? He, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they they said like Fleet Week was started from from uh, uh, Feinstein, right? They said she's the one that really started the Fleet Week. But, but but I think all the brothels and everything was there way way before, right? The brothels and everything must have been there like during the the uh, gold rush times, probably. Oh, for sure, sure. Well, yeah, there was always vice in San Francisco, from yeah. way back. Yeah, that yeah. was the best part about San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you Charlene. Know, you know, is that worse than the Wonderland? That was in L.A. or something, right? The Wonderland. Wonderland was yeah. an entirely different situation. That's what I thought, Alex. Sorry, but I know about that one. And John Holmes. Yeah, but that not has not, just because they were both porn associated doesn't make them having anything to do with each other. Right, I understand, Alex. But somebody should vlog that thing on YouTube. <laughs> the vloggers I watch because they did the Wonderland. That one sounds even worse and mm. oh, crazier. Wait a Phil, Phil just sent me a note here. <laughs> Tony is a moron. I told him I owe John the money. Oh, I got it wrong. I'm sorry, Alex. <laughs> I'll collect it. He doesn't owe me yet. Not yet. Tell him, uh, you know, I mean, unless he wants to pay me. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't think that would bet would be over yet. Yeah, because yeah, he's not president and he's not in jail. We gotta... right, right. But we do know this from Phil. Tony's a moron. Well, yes, that's right. <laughs> My brother would concur, Al. <laughs> he never shuts up. <laughs> yeah. So why is Phil not calling if he has something with Marjorie? I don't know. You know, I told him, you know, it's, it's my Marjorie said that. Don't ever call her. <laughs> you know? Yeah, don't call her show. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'll boycott her show. How's that? Well, but, just you know, I mean, I, I I guess I'm supposed to suffer for the sins of my wife, you know. <laughs> in fact, in the show that we did, I defended him. Mm. See, from what she was saying, I defended him. I heard it out. She did. Yeah, but he has the loyalty of a Donald Trump, okay? So, <laughs> you know. Does that mean uh, Tony's uh, Giuliani doing all his dirty work? <laughs> yes, he's got my hands going to stop melting soon. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't have, I don't have an apartment in the city to sell. 
Where's Giuliani been? We went back to Trump, I'll tell you that. We'll give well, you Giuliani's back. been, I guess, moving Broke. furniture. <laughs> I would imagine. Imagine his credit. Alex, imagine he goes to a diner and his credit card fails. <laughs> Excuse me, this is no good. <laughs> $40. No, he, he really is broke. He's dead broke. Yeah, I mean, come on. You know, His lawyer is suing him. Yeah. And I, I wish I could feel sorry for him, but I can. You know, yeah. again, here's another guy. See, all these people felt they were going to get something out of Trump. I want to know those true you know? stories. And it's this, like a regular paycheck. And, and Trump, like the godfather, demands extreme loyalty. It's a poster right okay. there. Okay, and <laughs> and if you don't get loyal, uh, you're you're out of the picture. So oh. you you maintain your loyalty. So guys like the My Pillow guy really mm. thought that Trump was going to do something for him. He went I to the mat for him, <laughs> huh? He went to the mat for him. Though. That's what they say. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Oh, this, they, he put him out the misery. Of. Who knows what they were going to do? I want to know what he promised these guys. He didn't promise them anything. What they were is they were ha- they were hanging on to his celebrity. Yeah, yeah. That's really what they were doing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I don't know if anybody's going to do that anymore. I think people are learning their lesson from how he's treating all these other people. You know. I think some people still get starstruck, and when they he says, "Yeah, let's do this," they're all, "Oh yeah, yeah, he likes me, he likes me," and then they still get slapped later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let me see here. There is oh, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. I can't remember what it is now. See, I just I, I, I can't keep a thought for any long amount of time. I should like I have a pen here. I no, you know what I do? Down. I write notes down. When I, I should when write I'm a note down. Like uh, don't note. Notes. I do Bill my notes in my I comics when I'm when, 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 when my books. Our, our, our 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 no notes. I write them hey, notes. Alex, so 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 is this day two of no pills? This was day two of no pills. It, it went, I, I was. I, we took a walk, and I was. I had a hard time walking today. I don't know why. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, I did take my, you know, my brigabal and the uh, uh-huh. neuropathy pill. Uh, yeah. So I shouldn't have had as much trouble walking. But somehow I was very weak walking. I don't know why. Uh-huh. But anyway, I, but I walked a long. I walked over a mile today. So. That's good. That's good. So, you know, I mean, I, I should try it more. I think it's maybe because I haven't been walking much lately. Yes. But yeah, that... uh, what's interesting, I'll tell you, had this tooth pulled, right? Mm. Had the implant inserted. Mm-hmm. They do that all at once now, folks. Mm. Oh, you, they shot it out in, in the place? Yeah, they put the in. Yeah, they had the machine. They did they have the machine downstairs. Like they, and they made you wait in the chair. They did that for me one time. What? Do they make the tooth right there? They come out with it. They have like a... No, no, no. They make it oh, tooth. we're going to argue about Here this. Here we go again. <laughs> no. Here we go again. Uh, this is what happened uh, last. They drill the hole, and then they put the thing in there. That's the implant. Then they have put a post in there, and then they put the crown on top. You're talking oh, about the Dental crown. implant part two. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. Watch yeah. last night's show. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, oh there the we go. Hey, I, just wanted, I, 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 I just wanted to make sure it was him. Yeah. yeah, nobody would use his name. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, what's this? What, what's the deal with the bet now? I thought it was uh, that Trump wouldn't get arrested, and that's why I thought I owed you the dough. Yeah. I so I wrote you. To, uh, to, uh, I see what you're saying. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, I, okay, so you, you're right. I won. Send me the money. I, well, no, I, I, I wrote you well, he not on only, Facebook Messenger, but you never answered. I, I don't use. He Facebook not only Messenger. got arrested; he did it full yeah, three board. times. Yeah. 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 Well, I thought that that was the bet. I thought the bet was that he's got to go to jail first. Either he becomes uh, president or goes to jail first. Well, he got booked. Yeah, I mean, man. he got booked. He, 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 he got he got booked three <laughs> times. Yeah, technically, three I guess times. I won. Then I guess I won. No, but yeah. I, I think is every indictment you were got like a hundred dollars or something. I think it was every. Uh, it's only I one bet, did. but uh, Brian Brian's Daddy Warbucks there is willing to uh, assume my debt. 
No, I'm not coming. No, wait a minute. Let, Phil, let, Phil, you can just say you paid in Gabnet bucks, so it's all settled. Uh, nah, nah, that's a bet. <laughs> you can bet MGM. You go in and get you know, but okay, uh, so I've been telling, I've been trying to get John to either friend me on Facebook, which he doesn't do, or look at his messenger so I can make good on the bet. That's all. Uh, just just come to the city. We'll go have dinner over at, all um, right. go to, what's that place? On Van Ness. The, the steak place, Harris. I like Harris. Harris, yeah. Let's go there. Wait, 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 what, 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 what it's called? What's it called? Harris's Steakhouse? Yeah, it's, 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 part, it's part of the... Um, Harris Ranch. Well, yeah, Harris oh, oh, Ranch. Oh, I see. Yeah, but there's also the House of Prime Rib down there. I'm I love that, Yeah, too. yeah, that too's good, too, yeah. Either or. You can't get reservations there. Yeah, you uh, can. Not if you want reservations for two. Uh, at, at, yeah, you can. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. The guy told me, oh, you gotta, you gotta just walk in and see if it's available." Yeah, you can well, do what, that. What's too. that all about? I mean, you could get. You know, seat, do you want my business or don't you want my business? Yeah. They don't want my business. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? So, he yeah. chokes at the end of the meal to get it for free. <laughs> oh, so I don't know how to get a hold of you to. Um, uh, uh, you can joking. text me here. Here, I'll show you my text thing here. here. Just uh, you come on, just go through Tony. Tony will handle all your. Tony's a moron. I can't tell Tony anything. <laughs> it's like telephone. Eh? I got to know what I got to do. You know, it's not Batman or wrong. Spider-Man. I'm out to lunch or the football. Oh. Game. We'll end up being there the wrong night or the wrong restaurant. Uh, or and and by the way, uh, I'm not mad at Marjorie, and I'm not mad at anybody. It's you know this wokeism stuff. You know where oh, yeah. people are tri tribal and they take sides and they get angry. I just don't want to be around that. You know, uh, it's... Uh, what do you mean? Nobody's taking sides here. Can you read the that? The only trouble was... Oh, oh great. great. I'm going to oh, go right to right 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 What? You're Chinese when I come out there. Uh, nobody's going to see that, right? <laughs> yeah. Who cares? I'm up all night. I'm going to watch a TV You're going to get porn calls now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, really. Hey, uh, Phil, we need Phil. We need to do a whole night because uh, we got to get Steve Fox and everybody. So, if you guys yeah. are going to get together, let me know. That's uh, okay. okay. No, no, nobody, nobody in, inviting me. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, you're yeah, geographically I'm with me, Alex. When I go, Alex, you're geographically undesirable. Look oh, me. really? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> really? Hey, yeah. Uh, I will take your ticket if you say you're going to come. So don't say, like, nobody invited me, okay? Well, there's no ticket. It's Steve's uh, no, for final for Alex. I mean, for oh. Alex. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you're invited. So um, I'll go on Facebook, and you can get a hold of me on Facebook, okay? Do you, All right. Do you, well, I, I no, got everybody's got your phone number here now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we just call you. I, I got I, nobody Facebook. watches this thing, so who's going to have his phone number? <laughs> well, we know it's one of 40 people, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. yeah. No, actually, remember when so we I all... I got two when Facebooks. We, we one's all, under John Larkin, and the other one's under Fred Smurf. We only used to have about 200, both. 200 people okay. watching this show when you were calling it. Yeah, How many? Like 200 were calling, or were watching it. When you were calling the uh, show? Only once there was some glitch. I think something happened. And, uh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about, you know, we don't just count what happens now. We oh. count who's watching oh, over a couple of days, right? Oh. And and uh, we got usually got about 200. And since you stopped calling, we now get 1,000. So ah, anyway. Well, that's uh, great. <laughs> but you certainly don't get any more callers, uh, you know. Uh, you see, you had a whole bunch of people who were saying, I'm not going to call in because that Phil is on. You know, they're very tribal, very tribal, you know. What, uh, what is this tribal crap? Tribal is that pe people pick sides. And then they. Well, like they, you don't like, pick sides? Of course I do. Okay. But, you know, the <laughs> thing is, they pick, they pick the wrong side. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I always like, you know, stood up for you. You know, yes, you your did. right to call the show. And 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 I did, but you see, I want to make good on the bet because I don't sniff Oh, so you people. only called today because it could make you $20. No, I, I didn't. It's the not fruit. my $20. It's me paying the oh, $20. Okay. okay, gives you a chance to be honest. Yeah. And to be good on your I debts. It's the best policy, my mother used to say. Yeah. You know, that's, that's what I do. That's what you do. I'm an honest guy. So how have you been, Phil? 
Uh, you know, it's uh, I've had my uh, issues. I'm going in the hospital on uh, December 22nd for a um, what, what? What is that? A hernia, you tell me. Hernia, yeah. Uh, and and it's been bothering me. Oh, I've but had, that's in I've and had, out, right? I've had, I've had a hernia. I've had a hernia for years, but it never bothers me. Really. Yeah, this this one bothers me. Oops. They so, say don't uh, do anything about them till they hurt. Yeah, you know that uh, it, it it's uh, anybody else here ever have a hernia? I, Ke- Kevin, did, have yeah. you had a hernia? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. I'm I'm looking forward to one. Yeah, you will after tonight. Hyena. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hernia. But you know it. it uh, um, um, we've missed you, Phil. Oh, well, thank you. That was endearing. And, we missed uh, you, well, but I, we can do it again. Yeah, Phil knows yeah, that. I. Uh, I also get up at 4 a.m. now because I go to the gym uh, three to four days a week and I'm there at 5.30. And uh, so, you know, I go to sleep around 8. Well, <laughs> so, that, give, that gives you one day. That gives you one day you can call us, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, uh, let's see, Faye moved out. She, uh, she got very religious. What? And she, she yeah, moved she moved out. down the hall. I, I, we got her apartment down the hall from me, so I don't have to listen to her praying six times a day. <laughs> wait, like a wait a minute. Wait a minute. All of a sudden, out of well, of course, she got to know you, and she got religious. She yeah. found you tell us. You tell us this at eight fifty six. You're opening the Pandora's box. Come on, Phil. What's wrong with you? Yeah, so uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm enjoying life. Well, you know, <laughs> I, 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 are you sure she just didn't work, walk, walk, move down the hall because your prostate isn't working anymore? No, nah, I doubt it. Uh, oh, by the way, what's happening with that? Didn't you say that you were oh, doing yeah, something the where they, I don't know, were uh, doing something there, horrible there's to been, you? There, there, there's been some, you know, improvement, but Ooh. not enough to. Uh, to, to do the deed. Now, what what was it they were doing to you? Uh, it's called Gaines Wave Therapy, mm-hmm. which is where they try to break up the plaque. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is uh, P- uh, PRP, which is uh, a um, mm-hmm. uh, where they take your red blood cells mm-hmm. and they separate them and then they re-inject them. Mm-hmm. To, where uh, where do they re-inject them? Uh, well, there's two there's two sites uh, on the uh, member. <laughs> oh, I see. So what they're doing is they're shooting blood into your penis. Yeah, that oh. must be pleasant. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, know I think if Phil can find more disgusting things to do with his body, he will find them <laughs> yeah. and yeah, pay they, for them. I might add. Yeah. They, uh, uh, you know, there's uh, there, there's some improvement in size and uh, so. Oh, so but anyway, but you're going, or you're going in for the hernia, so that, yeah. that's not a big deal, you know. It, well, it's a no. couple, a couple of a couple, a couple of three weeks or something before you're up and around, or. Well, they said eight uh, for uh, uh, that I couldn't lift anything more than eight pounds. Yeah, but I mean, are you, you going to be out and about? With, with uh, after time. four days. So the reason I'm oh. doing it on December 22nd, that's a Friday. Uh, mm-hmm. Then you have the Christmas. Hey, Christmas listen, I got to I gotta get that the, the hernia operation. Because you say, yeah. they tell you not to lift anything for eight weeks. So I won't have to take the garbage out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get you one of those roller carts. Marjorie will say, come on, help me make the bed. I'll go, I can't. I got the hernia. I can't. The doctor said I'm not supposed to do anything, you know? Do smaller bags. Do little little ring 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 ring. I can I can use those kind of excuses. It's really yeah. it's really good. So, yeah. uh, you know, the four or five, six days, you really are out of it. And mm-hmm. those, so that's the way I'm spending Christmas. Thank you, Jesus. Baby oh. Jesus is coming. <laughs> well, you're Jewish anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know? And you know we didn't have time to even get into Israel with uh, with Phil, which I'm glad we didn't. Well, but to maybe come, another come day. back and see us again, will you? It, it's All such right. a pleasure. John, to... I'll, I'll settle up with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Tony the moron, never give him a message to relay. Give him a message. <laughs> He in charge of our dinner night. He everything. Anyway, everything for us. Hey, listen, uh, I'm playing the theme. I don't know. No, you can't hear it, but I'm playing the theme. Thank you very much to Charlene for joining us tonight. Thank you, Charlene. Thank you to our good friend Kevin 
uh, who is uh, always on this program, and it always makes me feel good that he's here. Uh, and of course, uh, 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 John Larkin. Nice to see you. You should call more often. You too. You too. Yeah. yeah call I more. would if I didn't. I wasn't always working at night. Yeah. And uh, uh, Tony, thank you for calling and getting yourself into trouble with Phil. And right. and thanks to uh, uh, our good friend Brian. Mm. And finally, thanks to uh, Phil. Phil, we really appreciate it. Nice. And please call us again. Okay. You're always welcome. On. And everybody, why don't you give yourself a big uh, wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, Jack Bishop is next over most of this same station. He'll be right here taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life, and in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.